Oh, I'm super excited. Um, you know I've been using these Beast Ref PV goggles. And as you can see, wearing glasses, um, they're actually no good because you can't put them on your face with your glasses on. So while I've been sort of flying the seat as pro, um, I've been having trouble sort of seeing exactly where I'm flying. So I need the new set. And the uh, most important thing is either I can wear glasses with them, because obviously I need them, or I can change the uh, pupil length um, on the glasses. And I've been looking around trying to find a pair that aren't too expensive. And I found a pair. Esheen EV100 uh, 720 by 540, 5.8 gigahertz, 72 channel goggles with dual antennas. Ordered them a couple of days ago and they've arrived. And here they are, already sorted. And I've uh, very surprised to see, yes, they do have on the bottom here, you can adjust the length of the lenses and of course the distance between the eyes. Uh, they work on the 18650 battery. Uh, there wasn't any batteries with this, I had to. Um, Grab a couple out of another device that I've got. Charges via USB and a little meter on the side flashes to tell you. Can we see that on camera? Is it too bright? There we go. It shows the, the battery life uh, for the goggles. So I need to go and put these on charge. I've just tested them with the quad and I didn't need to bind them. Uh, as soon as I plug the quad in and I turn them on, they just went to the right channel. So that's some kind of default. I don't know. Um, there's an off button there. And there's a little socket here which you can plug in. Do you remember when I first started the channel, I owned like a little box thinking it was uh, a DVR like this one is. And it wasn't, you have to actually plug into the goggles. That's what that socket's for. Um, there's also one on that side as well. Let me just grab the instructions because I just need to have a look at what's, what is what on this. Is the instruction. I don't read instructions normally. Um, I've got an AV output. Oh, headphone jack. Why would you have a headphone jack on goggles? Can someone enlighten me why you'd have a headphone jack? Um, if you were to listen to the quad flying, you got the noise of it flying. You just have the, the props. I don't. It's like putting a camera on a DJI Mavic Pro uh, recording sound. It just you wouldn't get anything, would you? Anyway, so that's the socket for output into a little DVR power socket there. And there's a mode button on the top. I'm, I'm not going to go through everything that it does. I'm not one of those who'll do that. But I have tried them, and as I said, because I can adjust like I'm wearing glasses, um, they actually work really, really good. And I'm really pleased. And as I said, I paid uh, £72 for them. That might be a good price. It might not be a good price. Let me know in the comments if that's a good price or not a good price because I don't know what they are. But this is the last thing now I need to buy. I've got battery. Um, I've got the quad bill. I've got props. I've got a controller that works. Although if it all works, I'm going to be buying a new controller. Uh, and I've now got a decent pair of goggles to fly with. So anyway, these are supposed to point, by the way, these aerials. Are we supposed to have them, you know, like this? Or do you have one up and one pointing down? Again, if you know better, please do leave a comment and let me know. But yeah, I shall have some fun with these when the, uh, when the weather dries up a little bit. <laughs> Might be January, but you never know.